Okay, so let's jump into this video and start talking about our mass airflow style fuel strategy. Now in the previous videos, we looked at our VE style fuel strategy and our injection time strategy. And with the VE style strategy, we were using an inferred method for calculating the air mass that's entering our engine. So infer just means that it's gonna be calculated from a bunch of different variables. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, the VE style calculation, if you're jumping into this video and kind of skipping over, make sure you watch that. Also check out EFI Advanced Part 1. It goes into how the calculation is performed when we're using that speed density style calculation. Now, with the mass airflow, we're gonna be directly measuring the air mass coming in the engine, and it's extremely accurate to be able to obtain that kind of data that's coming in. So we're able to implement a different fuel strategy when we're using this mass airflow for our input, for our load, or for the air mass registration into the ECU. So we're gonna be taking a look at how this is gonna differ and how we can implement this for tuning. There's gonna be some very specific things we need to know, and we're gonna be covering all that in this video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our mass airflow style fuel strategy we're going to be finding with our Haltech Elite. Now in the last few videos we took a look at our VE style of fuel tuning as well as our injection time. Now the mass airflow is going to be our third type of tuning method that we can find with our Haltech Elite and it's going to be a very very easy to tune style fuel strategy as we're going to be finding in this video. No longer going to be relying on our table here and our main VE table our main fuel table to go ahead and have an inferred method for calculating your air mass. We're gonna be directly calculating the air mass entering our engine from the reported values from our mass airflow sensor. That's gonna be uh, really, really accurate. And that's why a lot of OEMs rely on mass airflow sensors now and they don't use MAP sensors in a speed density mode. So the first thing they're gonna be doing here, jumping up into setup, main setup, we're gonna be going into engine and then moving over here into fuel. We can see at the top here, we have tuning method. If we have our drop down open up here, we can see that volumetric efficiencies select it right now. We see that we looked at our injection time, and then we have this last type of mass airflow. So if we select this, it's gonna be putting our calibration into error. It's gonna be saying that we have to have a MAP sensor input required. Now, when we select our mass airflow under this tuning method, we wanna make sure that we have our fuel load type here set on air mass per cylinder. That's gonna be changing our main fuel table to work with this particular load input. And we're gonna be looking at this a little bit later in the video. So let's click apply here. That's gonna be saying that uh, we're not able to do that because we have these errors that have to be uh, dealt with. So actually click okay and let's move in and add our mass airflow style sensor. Let's jump into functions here. 